Vampire Survivors Beswick time. It's going to be Suto's time to shine over on Polis Replica. I'm actually getting it out of the way early now. And totally, 100%, he does not have Polis Replica done. Not like I'm going to make this mistake again. Totally, 100%, yeah. You can totally believe that. Alright, Night Sword Knock. Alright, I still have Brave Story on. There, well, it ran me into gold mask, so... Yay! <laughs> I do get to select my Arcana, though. Uh, I need healing. So let's get healing. Oh man, Night Sword and Marvinus are not very good for this. Crown, Empty Tome. I mean, Brace is really the only weak link here. Want from oh, no, of course, Skullomaniac. Oh well, the Arcana I go. Oh wait, I can just grab all the minis right off the bat too. No problem about that. Nice and powerful. And then I'll take all remember to not take off the brave story and do this all over again. Mini Guardian is a go. Was that a chest? That is a chest. I should be grabbing a chest. Oh, this is gonna end so badly. Alright, get guardian or mini engineer while I'm here. That is more efficient. Then I could grab mini ghost and attack Leo. Not used to having all my passes up this early. It's weird. Chicken round. Round all those chickens. Get. Ghost time? Ghost, save me from these shape shifting imposters. That was weird. I do have Silent Old Sanctuary. Why is it? it? Feels like it's not working as much as it should. Man, I got a minute, so I can go grab the Metaglio. Oh, Melison. They do no damage to my 5 and 8 armor. Alright, time to head down, find out where this switch is going to be. Oh, that's pushed him into me. Oh, there's a chicken there, which I grabbed. Nice. And there we go. Fully healed up. Ah, right near the silver ring. That's a good spot to have. Charging, charging, charging down to the switch. Oops. No, it hasn't been that long since I've been to Polish Africa. Well, I suppose it's technically one video off because I did the dumb thing with Megalomania. God, I even looked at the Beswick chart. I just thought, well, clearly it's not that country for some reason. But it was. And I messed up considerably, yet again. That's basically the tagline of this entire series, messing up with messing around. Speaking of messing up, oh boy is it a pain to try and get the Starship Troopers extermination recorded. At best I'm going to be able to do 1440. I'm not going to be able to 4K it like I am with the console stream and stuff. Uh oh, I'm going to go down. I gotta get back up to those chickens, like this one here. And grab the rest of them. And not leveling up at all. Light Sword is pretty bad as a solo weapon. Money. Oh, another chicken, nice. I don't. Feels like I have no magnet for some reason. Alright. So weird just not being able or not 
selecting anything. Feels like I'm not leveling up at all. Also because I'm not leveling up at all, despite having crown. Not being able to focus on what I meant means... Yeah, it's... Candle Labrador doesn't really add much to this. Suppose it helps with Sarah Bonde though, so hey. Okay. Alright, time to grab a wake since well slash can be put off. There you are awake. There you are awake. Yeah. Awaken the Suto Moon spell. Go menia and stink so more. He's like a werewolf, right? So, um, hmm. I'm not sure there's any sort of transforming werewolf yokai from Japan. Well, I mean, I guess he hasn't turned into a full wolf, but still, that's kind of the intent behind it. I don't know, it's not like I know that much about Mord. Da 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 da. Whatchamacallit. Yet another chest, huh? Mm, more obscure yokai. Like Kappa's, sure. Oni, sure. Tengu, sure. And those aren't even technically yokai, they're just popularized as yokai in certain things. Like the Bakiona? What was it? The ice chick from the mountain. I remember that one. The long neck thing. Also remember that one. Werewolf dude? Don't know so much about that. Uh, no, throw us the big blocky dude just in time. Oh, it's both of the station thing here. Alright, this would totally be a evolution if it was time for an evolution, but it's not, because I can't select anything. Oh boy. Skull. That's terrible. Wait. I could have evolved. Weird. This isn't, this isn't Muramasa already, is it? Or whatever the correct version is. Hmm. I know, something feels off. There wasn't a patch or update that I noticed. Oh, granted, I had it on the background for a bit while I did other stuff, so who knows. Oh, great, I suppose I could check on Cross, formerly known as X, formerly known as Twitter. Oh, right, I forgot Chicken's Sarabande pop. And that means they do a ton of damage. I'll poke at the other Atlanteans, but I'm not going to grab the rings. The uh, Night Sword and Marmessa are not great. Uh, can I get Shapeshifter first? Yes, I should be able to manage that. And with Shapeshifter, all I need is Mini Red to have my whole crew assembled. Like a heist movie. I'm heisting... Jeez, I'm not even five digits? This is terrible. Like, absolutely terrible. And on Polis Replica, too. I know Brave Story was contributing to it, but still. Yikes. No, I mean, I mini go, so it shouldn't be a problem. Then once I can actually select things, Mad Force shouldn't be that hard. And again, it's Mad Force, so it'll probably cause a lot of trouble. There we go, there's the Marmassa. Good, it is Marmassa. And now that it's firing off like it's Victory Sword, it should be much easier to actually do anything. Wow, oh, it took... F Spawns in at 11, and it's almost 15 to get that dang Arcana chest. It's slashing time. I don't have any luck, but it's the best damage upgrade. Do I have anything else to upgrade? Yeah, I have plenty to upgrade. I got my Taglios. 
We got silver ring. Where's the other one? Oh, it's all the way over at Ghost. Well, that's a very far away way. Nope. Well, time to go the route I basically never ever go this way. Doesn't feel like it's faster or anything. So I have no idea where it empties out or not. Suppose it's there. And I suppose it right. Oh, right. This dead ends, doesn't it? That's why I never go here. Oh, there is an entrance. Or an exit. Or a passageway. Hey! Wings. That might actually be better to back up and grab. Since that'll make me faster. And this will upgrade Skull Hollow. Right. I don't have the option to banish that. Oh, all the rerolls are fours for... Well, there's everything maxed out. Gonna make it now. 71 seconds. So many... There's chicken in the way, so... Yeah, it's here. Yay, chest of goodies. Which I don't need anything of. And I should have saved that till I got mini red to upgrade immediately. Uh-oh, the android bot things are surviving. Boy, does this do no damage. Yeah, brave story, and it was a bad decision I really should remember this far in. But I keep forgetting. I don't even know where I am anymore. Anymore? I never knew where I was. Somewhere south of Eden. I know that's a reference to something, but I don't know what. Oh, hey! Finally took down one of the Atlanteans. Only took slightly longer than the entire dang run. Please ignore the back half of the run. Do 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 do. And let's see, I know, I saw the Dex video, well, I saw the thumbnail. I mean, there's a new patch going to be coming up for hard, Hardcore? For Contra. So that's not, that's going to be at another, what? So two characters. That's 36, no, it's going to be another stage, that's, that's 20 stages once the new one gets it. so that's... 40 from them, and then another 70, so that's 110 more stages. And I will not have done that by the time it comes out properly. Well, hopefully the third wave and the fourth wave, since I do have an idea for the fourth wave, but boy, is that going to be far off. Huh, why am I doing damage all of a sudden? Something happened. I should go grab that NFT, right? It seems like it could be the right idea. I mean, it could totally save it for some more threatening, like anything. Well, granted, between all the minis, it's not really that hard on Polis Replica. Oh, right, I wanted to go grab the other Atlanteans. Even being as underpowered as I am, the NFT is still going to burn everything to ash. And beyond. You aren't going to get to do anything at that rate. Oh, are the big pulses that push everything back? Oh right, I have garlic. Or the mini red garlic, which means that they're more susceptible to freezing. Well, they should be. Everything else seems to be. I, mean, I suppose I could save the chests if some other random event drops some on my lap, like armor, umbrella, probably Torona's box. Oh, boy, would that not have been grabbed. A good pickup. Torona's box? Oh no. 
100% curse guaranteed. What? No. Yes? No, maybe so. Oh, well, the Atlantean's somewhere in here. Say goodbye to your Metaglio. Discard. I can't grab it and just banish it because of Brave Story. It's weird that it makes two power ups just sort of worthless? Yeah, literally worthless. There's no value to them. Hello, giant baby thing. Hello. Er. Not War of the World imitation walkers. Uh, let's see, war, battle, worlds, planets, battle of the planets, try, uh, try, there it goes, trace, pod, pod, racer. Hmm. Sack? Trace sack. Battle of the Blance Trace sack. Steppers. Yeah, that's totally what those are. Battle of the Planets Trace sack Steppers. Perfectly crumulant English there. If you repeat enough, a word enough, it'll become real eventually. Son of Lantian, go burn. Huh. Is Mrs. Hoover still Lisa's teacher? I mean, I think there was an episode where she retired. It's not like she was ever on. Got an episode to herself like Mrs. Krabappel did. Oh, the Lanteans are down. Wonder if I can get rid of the big space baby. Yeah, I guess its name should be Naruto Smith. Come on, come on. Yep, looks like I'm not going to have the damage. It's not a surprise. I'm going to struggle to get to a quarter of a hundred K. Yep, hi you death. And in this run, easy wheezy. Lemon squeezy. What? See you to. This is actually the first attempt. I just remember to set it up ahead of time. I'm learning! And I will forget immediately after. Uh, Spinning is on the map. Oh, Alright, I need stone masks. So my options are somewhat actually limited here. Kinobrador isn't very helpful. It actually is helpful. Marola is on the map. Hollow Heart is on the map. I suppose it will be Empty Tome. Duplicator. Hmm, Crown. Why am I not going to the merchant? He's so far off here for some reason. Uh, let's give me some rerolls. I want to go right for what I need. Slash, slash, yeah. Because there's both offensive tools and not on the map.
go Clover early. I think that's my option. Get Slash hitting hard, hitting fast, hitting constantly. Get it before I max everything out so I can actually grab it while and be efficient. Mudman weight isn't that much XP, so this is a somewhat more efficient time to do it over bats. Okay, max out my armor. That'll be a good move. Sword's going up fast. It's not good. Oh, looks like I grabbed those skips and banishes and stuff pretty intelligently. See, I won't need Spellbinder, so if that shows up, I can just banish it. Anything else, mostly everything else, is fine if it shows up in a random wheel. Unlikely, but hey, it just happens, so... It is an option, and a possibility. And Skelly Wave is usually a nice big experience for Nyata. But now it's not. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Like, there's too many of them. I'm gonna have to grab Pomerola first. No, wait, tag those better? Hmm. Not close to 10, so I don't need to grab the mass just yet. Oh, well, there's all my threat taken care of. Yay, random events! That means Stalker is about to pop up in my face. Uh oh. Oh, you. I have basically nothing on my bar. There's Crown, finally. Hey, here's one of them clovers. More efficient this way. There's my empty tome. Now just give me that duplicator. Crown in glory. Nope, oh, this throne is maxed out. Nope, oh, that was maybe not the most intelligent move I've ever made. Bye bye, Terminus Box. You have served me well. I get that empty toma going. I traveled very far. And in the end, it didn't matter. Huh, they're getting knocked back more than I expected. Jeez, show me duplicator already. It's not that rare. Don't want to get the chest. Now I want to get the chest. Easily could have been an empty tome and better move. Oh well. Oh, should have banished the bracer. Really should have banished the bracer. Do not need that at all. Boy, howdy. Oh, there's duplicator. Oh wait, this will spend limit breaks on the sword itself, not the Mermassa. Uh-oh. Well, they're both swords, but this one is more swordy. Duplicator. Show them all the power of the sword. Uh, dang it, what was that ridiculously named movie? Something something Oath of the Sword. Something something Blade of the Sword. Might of the Sword. Ah, I can't remember. All I know is it got mocked as sort of a really like uh, U-tier meme. Hmm. 
No, this is not the best move, but it's the one I'm doing. And if I get limit break levels on Light Sword, so be it. Let's see, what should I name this video? Da -da -da. CO2's Bravest Story? I guess that works, but I didn't do Double Bravest Story, so no. Um, the Mad Polis Replica Adventure of Suta Moonspell is way too long. Oh, there's the boss. Oh, right, it's doing damage, so... That froze me for way too long. Oh, he has a lot of base health. Not exactly played all that often, so... Uh-oh. Oh, man. I gotta stay near the boss, but it's dangerous near the boss. I have to stay near the box. Yay, there's my chest, there's my knight sword. Evolved into Marmassa. Since didn't yeah. Now to charge on to victory with the hollow heart. Hopefully the mummies will not annihilate me. Which they are wont to do. But this is just mini victory sword. With a leech effect. No. I guess I... Huh. I suppose the Brave Story rant goes you straight into random always for limit break. Guess... Uh, a lousy filler word. I know that it sends you directly into random always for limit break, because it's random always by default. Is there a point to getting Candle Arbor or Silver Ring? It'll just actually, well, I mean, the size increase is there. It's not that great, but it is there. I get yeah, 10 armor. Mostly nothing can touch me now. Yeah, chicken surprise. Yeah, it's like you're in the army. I don't know, maybe someone, one of the vampire survivors was in the army. Maybe that's what the Spaceman Space Dude is for. Being in the army, I don't know. Oh, Arcana chest. Do I want to wake yet, or...? I'm getting a lot out of healing, so Cerebonde. Turns out that when you actually do damage, it helps. Oh, dang trees. Burn, you insufferable Atlanteans. Back to the waves with the... Wow, they survived that good. But so did I. He is very, very durable. It's mostly just Night Sword not being the greatest weapon. That keeps him from powering up, because look at what it's doing even with Sign Old Sanctuary. Sure, I don't have spinach, but that is not a top-tier weapon. The way I would say I could be safe eternally with, like, Whip or Bloody Tear or Fualfualu. Oh, there we go. It's mostly just the combination of the armor and the innate tankiness of the character. That means nothing is really going to be penetrating through. Clearly, I should do a tier list. I'm totally good enough to do that. I haven't messed up things considerably. But what would the criteria be? Well, I suppose the most base criteria would be getting to surviving the maximum length of them. So obviously in the literally invincible tier, 
You'll have Ghost Pina and many a moon spell who cannot fail. Well, I think actually Ghost could fail if you got Night Sword for some reason. So I suppose it's Megalomania and then Ghost Pina and better invincible tier. Weird. Of course, are we talking all six weapons or solo weapons? Or how about both? Oh, do, 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 do. Chest time. Give me that good old chest stuff. Hey, egg. Really should have grabbed the spinach first, but. I'm lazy bones. Let's see. Enough. See, after the literally invincible tier, you have, well, Queen Sigma in her own tier. No problems at any point in the game. Strong in all circumstances. No flaws. Let's see. How should I put it? Obviously, there's three phases. You got the early game, you got the mid game, and then you got the late game. Certain characters are stronger than either. Like Poe, he's got a strong early game because Spinach gives him tons of levels. But Soul Eater loses its potency as it goes on. Garlic and Soul Eater. So he has a weaker mid game and late game compared to someone like, you know, Toasty. Who has. An extremely powerful end game, and is basically uncontestable at that point. Even Queen Sigma must bow to it. But Toasty has an incredibly weak starting and mid game. The weakest there is, period. Huh. Where'd Mummy Wave go? Is it after Plant Wave? I don't think that's right. Am I maxed out? I am maxed out. I can't say I was expecting to actually do this in one try, but here it is. I think they're all going to complete everything in one try. That's weird. Oh, hey, Drowner. How is it? Hanging? No, water doesn't hang. How is it dripping? There we go. Well, that does a lot of damage. Uh, here we go. And I have a lot of healing. <laughs> and armor. Oh, I don't have a wake yet. That's not good. Where are you, Atlant Atlantean? I'm coming to your home. I'm fighting you on your own terms. You can at least man up and show up. Here we go. Oh, huh. I never knew the bubble effect did that. Not a lot of people exactly go drowning themselves, I suppose. Oh, huh. How'd that happen? Your water couldn't save you. Now you're on my domain. Land. And you have felt the sting of the sun blowing through my mouth. So that's probably the stinkiest breath, because Suto is stinky. Like, maybe not Poe is stinky, but definitely dog stinky. And dogs are very stinky. Oh, 
And just powering up for the inevitable victory. Even that kind of very arrogant nonsense can it take me out? Not likely anything else will. Treasure chest, treasure chest, give me an upgrade. Make me as strong as a basket case, man. Oh, what do you know? You, what? You don't know what a basket case man is? Google son, Google daughter, Google child, Google offspring. Yeah, that's the ticket. Hey, Rosary. I think I'm doing more damage to myself with the Muramasa than the enemies are at this point. <laughs> oh, they're so durable. They're actually taking so many hits. I might go into this chest. I don't need anything from it. Hey, mummies. Hey, mudmen. I should really go confirm that they're actually called mudmen. Well, mud people. The hand of the mud has come for thee. Thine intent means naught. There is only darkness and suffering. And making sure the recording is actually working correctly. I really need to go on the Vampire Survivors Reddit and do some posting. Same thing with 16 of the Final Fantasy variety and the Rebirth variety of 7 Final Fantasies and Holo Cure. Look, I'm really far behind on everything just because I can't get my sleep schedule reset correctly. Eh, I wanted to do it off Rising Tide, but I couldn't. I just fell asleep with the controller in my hand. Before I even started the stream, too. Yeah. And a thing. I once did a thing. Hey, money. 59 million. Not the worst. Not the best. Probably, honestly, the weakest run of all of them. But that's Miglos Yutudun. He's very durable. And next up's gonna be Gavadoni clearing out the last of the moon spell. Thanks for watching. Alrighty, and Miglo Siota Moonspell brings us up to 191 and 192. That was a lot simpler than it could have not been. Words are hard. Uh, I really need to like preempt things. Anyway, Gavit Oni's up next. Will he be the one to finally wreck the streak of the Moonspell characters being one shots on everything? Tune in tomorrow to find out. 1 p.m. EST. Thanks for watching. Hope you had some fun. Liked if you did. Disliked if you didn't. Give a comment if there's any builds you want me to try out at your recommendation. A subscription to support the channel. Have a good day and keep messing around.